Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Omid and in this channel I'm usually talking about voice over IP, especially open source voice over IP systems. Uh, but in this video I want to talk about PFSense and how to install it on a cloud platform provider Linode. Um, PFSense is an open source firewall, is an open source and free software uh, that can act as firewall or router and uh, other roles like for example VPN server, DNS server or a lot of functionalities it has. The good thing about PFSense is that uh, it has a very professional and very easy to configure web panel. So all the features you can configure via uh, web panel. And that's, I think, that's the reason that I'm using it uh, more often than the other systems or other uh, VPN systems especially, or other firewalls. Uh, when you want to install uh, PFSense, if you have a server, if you have a bare metal server, or if you have access to the hypervisor such as VMware or KVM, of course it's easy. You just need to download the ISO file, and load and install it, and it has a very uh, minimal installation, very easy installation. But what about if you want to uh, run your system and protect your systems uh, that are on the cloud? For example, I'm, uh, I have customers or even uh, for our own company, we are using uh, FreePBX or VCDial that they have installed on a cloud provider. Uh, to protect that, we usually do not uh, we usually do not publish the servers on the internet directly. Um, let me show you a, a graph. This is how we usually we use it. For example, we are protecting our FreePBX or our VCDL systems via a PFSense firewall. So our PFSense has two network interfaces. One of them is the public, and the other one is the private that our servers that, as I said, I'm usually working on the voice over IP part, so our FreePBX or our VCDial are connected via internal network to our PFSense. And PFSense is protecting our infrastructure. How it protects? First of all, we are not publishing the web. So some users uh, that they are connecting via Office and they have a fixed public IP address, we just need to uh, access to them, uh, we just need to allow f their IP addresses and publish our port just to their uh, specific IP addresses. The other users who are remote and who are moving around, we uh, gave them VPN because the PFSense can run as an open VPN or other type of VPN servers as well. And uh, as I said, it can be configured very easily through the wizard and user management is through the wizard as well. So we are using PFSense as the VPN servers and users are connecting via VPN to the firewall and through these routes, they will access our SIP servers. So this is how we protect our uh, infrastructure. You may need just for the VPN or any other usage. If you want to install PFSense, on a cloud provider such as Linode or uh, Azure or AWS or DigitalOcean, um, they are not providing PFSense image by default. So you need to install it yourself. You need to load the ISO file and install it yourself. This is not usually very straightforward. So I decided to teach you how to load a custom ISO file into Linode uh, Cloud Platform. The same method can be used to load other ISO files as well, like FreePBX, like, I don't know, VCDL, or even Windows. So the same method you can use to uh, install platforms that you have ISO of them, you have ISO file of them, and uh, the platform is not provided in default templates of Linode. Let's get started and see how we can install PFSense on Linode. Okay, let's log into the Linode and see how we can install PFSense in the Linode. And before I start, I actually just want to show you it's possible. So I have already installed the PFSense here. As you can see, if I access the 
IP address, I can log into the PFSense and I have all the features of the PFSense here. So uh, let's see how we can install it. First create a Linode. The image is not important because anyway we want to uh, format it and install the PFSense. Region, select any region as you wish. Then uh, select the configuration that you want for this uh, tutorial. I'm using the very basic one, the 5 USD one. Give it a label. Let's label it as, for example, PFSense, because I already have a PFSense there. So let's call it PFSense 001. And uh, give it a password. And I will add my SSH key here. Don't add any VLAN or private IP address by now. You can add later. So create the Linode. OK, the Linode is provisioning. It will take a while, so I pause the video, and I will be back when the, uh, the VM provisioned. OK, VM provisioned, and it's booting up now. Uh, wait until the boot is complete and it is running. This is the Lino that I have created. Power it off. Wait till the shutdown completes. Select the Linode, go to the storage. Uh, because we want to install and load the ISO file of the PFSense, so first of all, delete the default partitions. When you are deleting the partitions, you need to wait about 10 to 20 seconds before you can delete the next one. Okay, so both partitions are deleted. Now we can add our disk. Let's name it as uh, in installer. This is actually where we are loading the image of the PFSense. It's important to select as raw file system and give it about 2 GB. And 1 GB is totally fine as well, but 2 GB to be safe. Add the disk, label, label it as uh, PFSense. This is the actual drive that we are installing PFSense on it select as raw and uh, give the rest of the uh, space to this partition, add. So now we have two partitions, in installer and PFSense. In installer is, the, is where we are loading our image, it's like the, your DVD-ROM or CD-ROM, and then the PFSense is the actual partition that we are installing PFSense on it. Go to the configuration here, we need to create uh, two new configurations here, so, um, you can delete this configuration, add a new configuration. And let's name the first one as in installer, the boot profile. Select kernel as direct disk because we want to directly install our uh, PFSense ISO image. And uh, select dev SDA1 as the PFSense. This is where we want to install. Dev SDA1 is where we want to install the PFSense. And dev STB is our installer. And the uh, root partition for this one is dev sdb. Why? Because actually we want to install and when we want to boot via this configuration provide, profile, we want to boot the dev sdb. Actually we want to boot our cd. So it's even important to uh, select actually root device as dev sdb. And uh, turn off all settings except auto configure networking and add configuration. This was the, our installer uh, boot configuration. So let's add another configuration. This is the actual uh, configuration. Let's name it as uh, PFSense. Then select kernel as direct disk and uh, give it a uh, the SDA1 is our PFSense because we want to load the PFSense. And dev SDB uh, we don't need. And then here our root device is dev SDA. Because when we are booting actually, when after we have installed, 
this is the actual profile that will boot up the system and we want to load the pfSense from our dev SDA1 and select deselect all helpers except auto configure networking and add configuration okay the custom configurations are ready what we need to do right now is go to our Linode and uh, okay before we boot into rescue mode you need to download the pfSense ISO so you can go to the pfSense download you can go to the community edition you can select your uh, architecture select the installer as USB because and uh, the format that we need is dot IMG and uh, so you need to download the USB installer select console as serial and then download the file I have already downloaded this file when you are downloading this file you can see that there is uh, it is in the IMG format uh, you need to extract it is in the GZ format you need to extract it into IMG and upload it somewhere so that you have direct access to that I have uh, I have created another Linode actually here web server and I uploaded my file it doesn't need to be another Linode uh, system you can upload anywhere as you have access to that image so this is the URL of my image of course this IP is public but I will remove it this you know, after this training, so this URL won't work. But this is what I have done. I have downloaded the disk from uh, PFSense. I extract it and I load it into my server. So I have access to this URL. And if I actually click it, it will start downloading. So I, I don't want to download here. I just want to show you that it's working. Uh, so after I have loaded the ISO into my, and I have direct link, I need to here uh, boot into the rescue mode and I select dev SDA as in installer dev SDB I don't need and yes I want to actually boot into my installer uh, profile I need to wait till the rebooting is done. Actually, it will go to the rescue mode, and then from rescue mode, I can install my custom ISO file. After the boot is done, you need to uh, select Launch Leech Console. OK, great. Here, I, I need to download the file, the download the ISO file of my, actually, pfSense. So this is the URL of my IMG file, the latest version of uh, pfSense that I have downloaded. And then we can directly write that into our dev SDA. SDA. So it will download and it will load the ISO to our partition. It will take a while because it needs to download and uh, actually write to the partition. Okay, download and writing is done. Uh, and uh, after running this command, I need to go back to my Linode system and then I need to select configuration and I need to boot into the installer uh, partition. So I just select here installer and boot and I will boot the system. So it's rebooting. Okay, after the boot is done, uh, you need to connect back to the link. And here you can see the PFSense ISO file is loading. The free PS, you can get it from the free BBSD install. Yeah, 
Yes, that's it. Uh, now we have loaded the uh, pfSense ISO. So let's install using the X term. You can select the mode that you want to uh, run the install it. I'm selecting X term. Accept. This is the normal uh, pfSense installation. Install. Continue. Okay. Install. And then he here you need to select your dev sda the first one okay do you are you sure you want to destroy yes this is the normal setup of the pfsense so we are waiting till the installation is done Okay, here before we reboot, of course you can press reboot here as well, but at the same time you need to go to the pfSense and select reboot and then here you need to boot into the pfSense because now it is installed and we need to boot actually to the pfSense itself. So it's rebooting. So it's very important to change the configuration, the boot configuration here. You need to, after it, you have been installed, you need to run it. Okay, after it, after it has rebooted to the uh, in, uh, PFSense bootloader, then it, it is installed already. So you can uh, select it, launch it, and then you can see, yes, it's the PFSense initial configuration. Should I set up a VLAN? No. Uh, inter interface, yes, we have just one network interface. VTNet zero. Uh, we want to. This will enable firewall NAT mode. Okay. Yes, our one interface is VTNet zero. Select yes. Okay, starting web configuration. Okay, great, boot up complete. So the PFSense is already installed. I just, I can test it. I can select the IP address and paste it here. And I have access to the web panel of my PFSense. I can log in with the default username admin and the default password is pfSense, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, admin pfSense, and yes, this is uh, actually pfSense. It's already installed, so we have loaded the custom pfSense ISO on Linode. Thank you for watching, and uh, please subscribe and like the button if it hit the like button if you like this video. Thank you. I will see you in the next videos.